Hello everyone, how are you today? I hope you're having a really good time out there with all of the paint that I've been sending you and we will continue because I have reds up today. So I was gonna swatch these and I thought you might enjoy looking at them because these are the ones that I'm considering uh, sending in one of the upcoming um, shipments for October. Now, as always, the basic subscription uh, gives you dot cards and samples and some really interesting things for you to try and do, as well as a challenge. And in the duo, which is the upgraded um, subscription, you're going to get twice the paint. So you're going to be receiving in October, not only the yellows and oranges, but also some reds. And those will be in really, really big, generous stock cards, as well as brand samples, because we've got some really great samples that came in from Grabby, including brushes. So if you would like to receive the Grabby brushes as your brush subscription, then be sure to email me about that because these are amazing brushes. So you can definitely have one of these as long as the supply lasts. So just get on the email and let me know. There's also some really cool postcards that they had um, sent us that I showed you and some paper. And then there are some watercolor sets and these markers too. I really enjoy these markers. These are really great markers. I've been really having fun with these. The watercolor sets we're going to be doing as the uh, win for the uh, contest. So if you do enter the painting challenges, then I have two big sets to uh, give away. So as you can see, some of these are just gorgeous. This is an idea of the size of the dots that I send out. They're about a little bit, maybe like a dime size, but very generous. And there's plenty of paint here to do paintings with so that you can really get an idea for some of these colors and how beautiful they are. In mass tone, this My Merry Blue primary red is very pinky red. It's a PV19, even though it's called primary red. And if you notice, a lot of times primaries can be either pink or leaning towards the oranges, um, like the pyrrol red is in 254. I like the PR254s in pretty much all the brands that I have swatched because it is such a true brilliant fire engine red. Occasionally you'll get a pyrrole red um, like in Daniel Smith that leans very very orange and is more of a like a cad orange or a cad red that leans orange and um, so those aren't my favorites because I if I'm going to use a red I really want it to be like a big beautiful fire engine red that's more transparent so I really like the Cesaro one that's really nice. Another great one is the Sennelier. Sennelier, their formula is amazing. In fact, when I make paint, I actually use their binder and I use Schmincke binder. So when you're getting paint that I have actually made, you're getting those beautiful binders and, you know, honey content and all the great things that go along with it. I just love the way they paint. My Mary Blue has been doing a really impressive job as well. I've been liking them. They're not as smooth as Sennelier, but they still have a really beautiful pigment load and they're pretty gorgeous paints. I'm, I'm pretty happy with them. I got a lot of them uh, to share with you guys because it is kind of a, a newer brand and something um, that I'm really interested in because I love a Gallo and they're made in Italy and so are my Mary Blue. And as I, um, as I go through, I do really love the vibrancy of the colors and then the way that they they just perform on paper is really interesting. So this was my Mary Blue Rose Lake, which is a PV19, a little bit more pinky side. It's got like that flamingo kind of look in the reds. Then their Quinn Magenta, which is dramatically into the violets, PR202. And this is a really, really pretty pink. I would have to say... Um, you could make some really amazing things with this one for sure, you know? It's good to see you. Thank you so much for being here. I'm glad you're liking the videos. Uh, and the cat's watching too. Awesome. Hey, Gadget. 
I like the Sennelier Bright Red, but I did put on here the Sennelier Red PR254, so we can try that as well, because the Sennelier Bright Red is a mystery color, and I noticed that um, there are a couple of brands that use this mystery color that nobody wants to talk about, and I really have no idea. I haven't noticed any fading, even though they say it can be fugitive, but um, I haven't put it in direct sunlight, but again, I haven't noticed any fading when I paint with it and I just love it. I think it's beautiful. Such a really, really pretty color. Azaro um, Magenta is also gorgeous. Look how pretty that is, PV19. So if you notice, these two are very, very similar PV19s. PV19, as uh, all of the pigments, they can range, you know, depending on who makes them, they can range as far as during the milling process, whether it's milled really finely, how it's ground, is it ground on glass, is it ground on granite, marble, you know, different different ways that they mull the paint and uh, the different binders and the different uh, things that they put in it definitely make up what that color is going to pull. But that Azaro uh, PV19, I would say Azaro is, is pretty gorgeous. Now here I've got Mission Gold. Now Mission Gold, as you can see, is a very, very powerful paint. <laughs> it is made in Korea and it, it doesn't hold anything back. I think it's a really easy paint for beginners because it doesn't run away with you. It pretty much stays put where it is. It's not one of those flowy paints necessarily. And you will get some backwashing with it if you add too much water. So you want to dilute it in a ceramic palette. So one of those, um, you know, like one of these like ceramic palettes, you would put it in there or in a tin and then paint with it. And that will help. And you want to watch the, the amount of water that's on your brush so that you can control it. But as you can see, plenty of pigment, crazy, crazy bright. And it's great for a pop of color. Plus their sets. Um, like I mentioned before, in my Amazon store, I have a set of mission gold paint at like $56 and it comes with a lot of colors for you to try and play with and one of these crazy big palettes you know so it's really a nice set I think for starters um, then there's also some primary sets out there and I have a starter set in my store at jackswatercolor.com so if you really want uh, to get started a lot of my students do get that set it's a adorable set of different paints, 12 paints to get you started, as well as a sketchbook, a brush, and um, a magnetic clip to hold it to your sketchbook. Now see that Sennelier PR254, I just love it. It's gorgeous. If you compare it to the bright red, the bright red's a bit more pink leaning, you know, where this one is a true red. And I find that it's not really too orange or too blue. I love that, but it, as you can tell, it's very close to the Mission Gold. The only thing is the Mission Gold is more opaque, and this one has more transparent qualities. So it depends on what you want, you know. Of course, this is more of a professional grade paint, even though Mission Gold is a professional grade paint, but it doesn't have the same qualities as Sennelier, and you'll notice a significant difference when you paint with the two. So if you want to get a sampler of this, I was thinking about doing a red sampler pack for you guys, either with dots or little mini pans um, on a card or in a tin. So if you are interested in something like that and you want me to do like a sampler of the different reds, like maybe all of the blue leaning reds and then all of the red reds, then I would be happy to do that for you guys. And I can put it up on my website. Just let me know. Cause I think that red is one of those things you really do have to swatch yourself and feel the paint and also see which way they lean. It's a little difficult to see on video, but I can see in including the pinks, the more pinky reds, you really do get a feel for how red some of these are. And I think we, we kind of have to have on this chart a little bit of the pinky magentas in order for you to see just how bright they are. Otherwise, they kind of like power your vision and you don't have any contrast for it. But if you want to look as compared to the orange sheet that I did just recently, you can easily see how different 
and bright they are as compared to yellows and oranges. Aren't they gorgeous though? I have to tell you, there's not a color in my box, not a color in my studio that you wouldn't absolutely adore. And I think that's why the subscription service is really handy and effective because I don't really have any bad colors. I've been through it and painted with everything. And I'm always so curious that I always grab new colors and put them in and check them out. So you won't be you will never be disappointed with any of the colors that I send. You'll, you'll really have a tough choice, I think. But I think it comes down to the play, you know, and how it dries. Does it dry more dusty? Does it dry more opaque, more transparent? And what you're going to paint with it? You know, like some of the florals, do you really need like a really heavy red? Or do you want like something a little more soft and something that has more transparency? Do you, if you're going to use it as an overglaze, you know, do you want it to glaze well? Sennelier glazes really well. Do you want it to just have that bright color right off the bat? Or do you want something that you can layer up? So there's a lot of different things you can do. I tend to swatch these out in like heavy mass tone, but there are all kinds of shades in between that you can definitely achieve with these kind of paints. Anyway, it's great to see you guys. I am continuing on with my swatches. And remember, if you want sample paints, come to my website at Jack's Watercolor. I'm loading samples. If you don't see one that you like or a brand that you like, please let me know. Just leave me a message on the website so that I can get that up for you because I literally have, I would say, every brand in the studio. So time will tell. I eventually will get them all up. But if there's something that you're itching for, like this beautiful Potter's Pink I just put on the website, really pretty, then just let me know. Have a great day and happy painting.